Hey guys, welcome back to the Gay Party Advice Series. In the previous video, we talked about all the stuff you should bring with you to a party. Now that you've arrived at the party, you kind of sort of need some place to put it. Mainly, we can talk about different types of bags you can use to put all your stuff in. The first type we're gonna talk about is a drawstring bag. You guys would have seen these when people go to the beach. And some parties actually give these away for free. This is just a very basic one. They're all pretty much the same. Now, if you know there's gonna be a bad check at the party and you wanna use it, this is what I would recommend, using a drawstring bag. Just put everything into the bag and check the entire thing. If you're not sure there's gonna be a bag check, having a drawstring bag is still good too because if there is, great. Otherwise, you can just keep all your items in the bag and just have the bag on you. Just wear it so that you have your items with you at all times. Having a drawstring bag is especially handy if you have maybe more stuff you're bringing with you to the party for whatever reason. Maybe it's winter and it's really cold outside so you're not just in shorts, you're in pants. You have a jacket with you and when you get to the party, it's probably warm inside so you need to change up your pants into your shorts. You're gonna need to put your jacket somewhere. The downside to a drawstring bag and one of the reasons I don't tend to carry one is that it is a bit bulky, especially when you have items in there. I personally dislike dancing around and being at a party with a whole bag on my back. It makes dancing difficult because it's just kind of, sort of like swaying and moving around. Also, it's hard to dance with guys intimately when you are wearing all this other stuff on you. The other thing with a lot of these drawstring bags, they're pretty cheap, they're not very well constructed, so they will rip and tear. You might find yourself at a party and unknowingly to you, all your stuff has fallen out your bag throughout the night. So you do like the idea of having a bag that you can wear on your back and you wanna do that regularly, I would actually recommend investing in something that's not disposable. You can go on Amazon or any like sporting goods store and you can get, this is not a drawstring bag, but this is almost like a gym backpack. This is my old gym backpack that I used to use actually. For something like $20, and this is not gonna rip, this is really, really durable, and you keep reusing it over and over. Kind of related to those are camelbacks or hydration packs, especially for EDM festivals like EDC. And those are just basically small backpacks that have a hydration pack in there, and usually you can put like a shirt or a jacket and your wallet, keys, whatever with you in there really easily. So that's usually not a problem. At EDM festivals, especially the outdoor ones, that's kind of like the standard thing people have. Uh, don't wear a camel back to a circuit party. That's weird. All right, moving on down, we have fanny packs. This is a very, very small one that's very stretchy. It stretches out so that it can put your phone on it and it kind of grabs onto everything really tight but when you don't have a lot of stuff on it, it is uh, quite thin and compact. These are great if you don't have a lot of items with you, especially if you don't have like extra items of clothing or like a jacket with you, you just have phone, keys, ID, things like that. Don't get the ones that are like the traditional big, huge bag style, unless that's like the kind of style you want and you're looking for. I recommend getting one of these ones that have the really stretchy material that stretches out to accommodate the stuff you're gonna put in it. Another reason to get a stretchy type of a fanny pack is that these tend to fit around your waist a lot more tightly. They're usually designed for jogging so that they don't bounce around too much. First is a more traditional type of fanny pack. Those could bounce around a lot more when you're dancing on the dance floor. Obviously an upside to this, easy access to everything that you have, to just right where your waist is. You don't have to like take a bag off of your back to get at your stuff. Now I have to admit, uh, this is my fanny pack that I bought a couple years ago, but I have actually never used it because I don't personally like the look of the fanny packs and they don't always go with the different types of outfits I like to wear. So I don't tend to like the drawstring bags or the backpack because I don't like something on my bag and I don't wear my fanny pack because I don't like something around my waist. So you're like, Joey, where the fuck are you putting all your shit? This is where I put most of my stuff. This is a ankle or like an arm band that you put around your arm or it's designed to be put around your arm and it's got usually two pockets mostly designed. There is a front pocket uh, and I still have some cash from when I used this for the last party that I went to and then a slightly larger back pocket that's usually designed for you to put your phone in. I don't like to put this around my arm. However, I will put it around my ankle. Down at your ankle is just kind of like out of the way, you know, like there is no way I can like 
you know, hit someone or like my bag would get caught or something. Purely personal preference, these are all good options, but this is my preferred way to keep all my stuff. When I first started putting that around my ankle, I thought like, oh, I'm the only one that I see doing this. I must be so clever. But then now I see other people doing it too. So I guess it's catching on. The only thing that sucks about putting all your stuff in the bag and if you're gonna put it around your ankle is that if you need to access something, you now have to bend over. And that can be tricky if it's like a really crowded area that you're in. Bending over is not as easy or pleasurable as it sounds. So in terms of bags you can put your stuff in, those three types of bags, a backpack, a drawstring type bag, a fanny pack, or uh, an ankle bag, I call it, or you can also put it on your arm as well. Those are the three main types of bags that I think will work in pretty much any situation. Having said that, there are other places you might be tempted to put things that may or may not be a good idea. In everyday life, you will put your keys and your phone and your wallet in your pockets, right? One of the big problems with putting your phone in your pocket is two things. If you're dancing, depending on the type of shorts you have, the phone might kind of swing about, especially if you have a gym type shorts where the fabric is usually looser and stretchier and there's not a lot of structure to it. Second thing is depending on the type of event you might be in, you could be at risk of getting your phone stolen because of pickpockets. I really had this happen to me at EDC this year. This is what I recommend. Pockets are good for things like gum, chapstick, nothing of value, things that you might want to access, you know, like frequently throughout the party. For your phone, your ID, cash, wallet, those types of things, don't put it in your pocket. Put it into the bag of some sort. It's not somewhere you can easily lose. It's not somewhere where someone can easily reach and grab at that stuff. Finally, here's kind of like a bonus tip for where you can put things. If you look at my video where I teach you guys the basic party wardrobe pieces of clothing you should have, one of the things I mentioned in there are knee-high socks. I found knee-high socks to be a good place to actually put stuff. My phone, some cards, uh, some cash. I should just put it down into the knee-high socks so they were just like between my leg and the socks. Your legs do get a little bit sweaty so make sure you, whatever you put down there is a little bit sweat proof. However, nothing moves around, you know, nothing comes out. It's not really a place where like a pickpocket for example could really get at it. And if someone were to like feel up your leg, you would kind of definitely notice right away. On the flip side of that, I used to do this all the time where I put my phone just within the waistband of whatever shorts or pants I'm wearing so that the phone is kind of like half sticking out. That could be really, really dangerous. Very, very easy for someone to just take your phone. That phone could uh, slip out. I have had my phone just fall out and sometimes I didn't even notice it until some random stranger has picked up my phone and handed it back to me. So basically it's just not a safe or secure place to put your phone. If you are needing to like have quick access to your phone because you're in the middle of messaging someone and you don't have pockets, I would recommend just holding on to your phone, you know, while you're kind of using it, while you're waiting for that message from a friend or waiting for a message from someone on Grindr. Trust me, I've learned the hard way. I've dropped so many phones that way. I probably should have lost more than my fair share of phones by putting it there in the first place. All right, but those are all the different ways you can put away all the stuff you need to bring with you to a party. Make sure to check out some previous videos I've done in this gay party series. And also there'll be more videos coming out soon. So click that subscribe button. Until next time. Bye YouTube.